word. Yeah, so I've not really got much footage of me prepping stuff and putting much together, unfortunately. But I have got a nice little feature of me roasting my own coffee beans. So hopefully that that'll go down a treat. But for now, we've got a beer. It's called Vocation. And it's a passion fruit milkshake IPA. Sounds repulsive, right? 6.6%. Ingredients, water, malted barley, oats, lactose, wheat, hops, yeast, vanilla, passion fruit, and... Uh, Mamie Sapot, Sapot, M A M E Y S A P O T E. Despite the fact that my sinuses are full of snot, I can smell the passion fruit in that. Good God, that smells amazing. Oh my god! My god, that's fantastic! That, get that! I mean, it might be out of focus. I mean, <sighs> Try that! Pick yourself up a can of that! Yeah. On this trip, I really want to make some original content, something a little bit different, something that you don't often see in other wild campers channels and videos and things like that. So, um, I thought about roasting my own coffee, um, but obviously I need some green beans, so what I did, I sent an email out to Grindsmiths, who are Manchester based coffee roasters, um, and they have a few shops around Manchester as well. The coffee's fantastic, hence why I e emailed them. So I'm a bit bunged up. Um, so I got an email back and I told me to come down and grab some beans, which I was like, cracking, you know? And they even, you know, educated me a little bit on coffee, you know, told me about, like, for instance, I never even knew coffee came from a cherry. Yeah. And let me, you know, smell some of these coffees. For instance, some of the coffee that was, um, that had been harvested naturally, I believe is the term called, it's where it kind of falls from the, the tree and it, the, the cherry is left to rot. You know, the bacteria breaks it down so it ferments. And when, and when I smelt these green beans, you, you really don't, you got a whiff of alcohol, essentially. You could, you could smell like a fragrant alcohol smell, like a fruity, um, a fruity alcohol smell. But for the first time, for, for the first roast I'm doing, I think it's a Colombian, it is. It's a Colombian blend. It's not a blend, I don't know if it's a blend. I don't know, it's Colombian. But it's fantastic. What they've gone and done, they've given me a pack of green beans for me to roast up, and a pack of their roasted Colombian. Exactly the same bean, but theirs is roasted, these ones aren't. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grind these up. Um, do I taste theirs first? I'll taste mine first. Taste theirs first. And if mine's similar, then I've cra cracked it, you know? Anyway, let's crack on. Right, so, this is the first time I'm giving this a go. So I'm gonna shift that rock out of the way. Get that nice and hot. So I'm not going to do loads at a time. I'm going to stare these. Got to keep staring them. Oh, it's tedious. I'm hoping there's going to be some beans left in the actual pan. So apparently there's a. Um, there's like a popping stage. You'll hear them pop, and you're waiting for them to pop the second time. That's when you kind of know 
are on the way to being done. Get in there though, right? It's all trial and error, but it seems to be working despite losing about a third of my beans to the plane. Shimmy it, give it a shimmy, get them beans evenly spaced out. In case I missed the odd one. What I should have done is open the bag that they've roasted and try and match the colour. But because I'm mid stir now, and I don't want to avert my focus anywhere else apart from making sure that the beans are not burning and staying in the pan. Uh, come on, focus, man. Get in there though, aren't they? Do you know what I mean? They're getting there now. Shimmy, shimmy. How do you like your coffee in the morning? I like mine roasted on an open fire on a cast iron skillet staring it with a stick that you found on the floor Oh there's a crack, there's a crack, ah oh, I've got carried away again I'm Spilt loads I mean it looks like a pretty good colour to me I'll give it another minute maybe There's the odd one that hasn't quite roasted to the same as the others can pick them out because now the next process is to stick them in a colander and jazz them about because then uh, you'll remove all the chaff all the stuff that all the skin off the seed because they're actually not beans the seeds you learn something new every day shimmy it's a good color it's a good color right I'm transferring it to the colander let's go So what I'm doing here is getting rid of the chaff but also cooling it down because they're still cooking inside. What do you think? See that one there? Not quite made the cut, has it? What else we got? There's one there that I'm calling. Didn't make the cut, mate. Do you reckon to that? There's mine. I might have smashed that. So I got this uh, grinder off Amazon. Uh, it's like a kilner jar one. I don't know the clip on it. Pretty box standard, but I like it. Manual, obviously. So, first things first, I'm going to brew up a cup of grindsmiths. Okay. Delicious. Smells incredible. Coffee full, but not packed down apparently. I wonder if it's worth putting that on like that. And then sitting the mocha pot on top of that. The genius. Okay. And now we wait. All right then, taste test. So this is Grindsmith's roast, not mine. Um, brewed up in the mocha pot. I got about half a mug from the mocha pot. Uh, but it's a nice strong coffee. I know that because I've had them in the past. So, don't hold like that, it's hot. It's bitter, it's slightly bitter, the first sip. But after, after that bitterness, After that bitterness, the flavour, it can definitely tell grindsmiths. Oh, it's nice that. 
And I don't even drink black coffee that often. I, I do, I, I'm into posh coffees. I do like a flat white, I do like a cappuccino. When I'm camping, I don't mind black coffee. That's nice, that. Ah, uh, it's a tough contender. I really hope mine tastes incredible. I mean, it's not going to taste any better than this, is it? You can't get better than like a professionally roasted like coffee, but yeah, I can't. I'm not going to drink all this, so I've got to taste mine now. And I'll be wired. But that's nice. It's, it's probably slightly bitter because. I brewed the mocha pot with the water being cold. Excuse me. I've been told that if you put hot water in your mocha pot first and then put it on top, that'll be on top of on top of the heat. Obviously it brews quicker, but you're not letting the, the coffee sit there and warm up. Um which I think releases some of the acidity. I might be talking absolute nonsense though, I almost swore then. I might be talking absolute nonsense, so correct me if I'm wrong. But that's just from what I've been told by other people. Um, but it makes sense. Uh, so yeah, slightly bitter on the first sip, but the full flavour of the dessert is delicious. Right, now for mine. Okay, so same amount of beans it's basically like two bean layers in the bottom of this cup sweet oh, I've even got some left for the morning get in beans in <laughs> man oh, I've just roasted my own coffee beans mate right okay I'll see you in half an hour Get in there. Oh, it smells like Grindsmith's coffee. Get in! Gents, if you're watching, the smell coming off these beans right now is identical. Identical to your roast right now. Oh, it is a perfect measure again. Look at the colour. Look at the colour of it. Beautiful. We're good to go. Okay, taste test. This is my roast, okay? Grindsmith beans, my roast. Now, it's cooled down a little bit, it's still steam coming off it, obviously. But now it's cooled down a bit. The aroma is quite similar to that of Grindsmith's. I noticed, in, in terms of the way it looks, they both had like a thin oil on the top. I think that's just probably the way I've brewed it. And maybe the, the how fine the bean the how fine the beans are ground. Um again I'm I'm learning but Okay. Strangely Okay. Not as bitter. But the flavour after it, it's definitely coming through as as like the grindsmith's flavour, but it's it's not as clean, smooth, however you want to describe it. Still delicious though. Very, very impressed. If someone gave me that, I wouldn't complain. I'd be really interested to see what it tastes like with milk. You know, like one of the posh coffees I like. I've still got some beans left over. I was gonna use them tomorrow. 
morning. But part of me wants to save them. So I can have it with milk. Ah, okay. Right. I'll just have some grindsmith beans tomorrow. And I'll save those beans that I've roasted up. And I'll uh, I'll make a mocha pot with proper with with some steamed milk and stuff. That'd be nice. There is nothing wrong with that. I might be in focus, I might not be in focus. My hair feels getting worse, man. I don't think I'm in focus. I'm in focus there. My hair here was crap. Anyway, moaning aside. I'm on to my second beer. After all that coffee. I did drink most of the coffee as well. Anyway, dance juice. A new, uh, sorry, I think I say New Zealand. It's a New England IPA. 7.5%. It has skeletons in dresses dancing around a purple tree. The London Beer Factory. Duh, 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 duh. Brewed with Azaka, Citra, and Sikkim hops. Sorry, Simcoe hops for a full tropical and juicy beer. Oh, another juicy one. Another fruity one, perhaps. Whoa, mother. That's a hell of a ring pull, that. Holy crap, do I have to pull the full thing back? Here we go, cheers. Oh, it smells fruity. There's a little mouse over there. It's uh, it's nice. It doesn't taste like a 7.5. It um, it's delicious. But is it as nice as the first one? I don't know. That one took me by surprise. I'll be honest with you. It's a passion fruit milkshake, wasn't it? Yeah. But this is delicious. This is very nice. And I'm picking these. Just because they look nice, the, the pictures, I'm, I'm judging a book by its cover. But at the minute, it's working. Oh, I. Oh, that's gonna set me right up for a bit of steak. Coming up next. So, ah, this is my third and final beer of the evening. I've got a light up there, I've got the fire down there. The ISO is high as hell as well on the camera. So, it might be a little grainy, but I feel like you might be able to see me. I might be out of focus a little bit as well, but just please forgive me. So this beer, right? I don't know why I left it to last. 
but it's like the artwork's pretty good. No, it's gonna go out of focus again, isn't it? But look at it. Um, the DDH IPA, double dry hopped India Pale Ale, water barley wheat oats hops yeast. I should have had this one first because it's not going to be anywhere near as nice as the fruity ones, is it? I've done this in the wrong order. But I went with percentage. See, this one's 7.5. 7.5. Same as the last one. It's got a normal top. Normal opener. Ring pull. Would it be a ring pull? No, a ring pull is what I had last time. It smells like a normal craft lager. I am a little bit snotty now though. It's not unpleasant. I can see myself getting into these craft lagers, you know. It is dry. It's weird that it is dry. It's still got a fruity touch to it. But leaves your, uh, leave the side of your tongue a bit, you know what I mean? For me, number one, in first place, was the first one. I cannot remember the name of it now. I can't remember the second one either, something about dancing. Yeah. And this one's a clock eye. See it? Anyway, I've, I'm still, my jacket potato's still on the, on the fire, but I'm gonna do my steak right now. Like a jack of potato. Does that look like a jack of potato? That looks like a jack of potato. Boom. Okay, so um, I'm almost packed down. Just got to pull the tarp down. Um, I'm glad I brought the big one this time because it has been very wet today and everything else has kept dry underneath. I um, just want to quickly finish by saying thank you to Grand Smiths for the uh, coffee beans. Um, the, the roast went really well. I've got a few left over that I'll bring in so you guys can try it as well. Um, and again, thank you for everyone that's watching the videos. Um, I've had a great response so far from a couple of them. Fantastic comments as well. It, uh, it's really nice to know people enjoy watching them and uh, like following what I'm doing. 
So subscribe if you haven't, so you can keep up to date with more stuff. And hopefully I'll have some more stuff coming up over summer. Thank you.